My name is Lynn and I'm a uh, second grade reading specialist at Lake Avenue School and today I will be conducting a guided reading lesson using the Fontes and Pinnell LLI kit with a group of five students in second grade. Thank you. Thank you very much for our girls. We're going to play our um, game. Oh, Ella, I haven't asked my question yet. We're going to play uh, the game using our phonics rules. So I want you looking at all the words at the board and I want you thinking about the clue that I'm going to give you. Are you looking, Bella? Thank you. All right, my first clue is, can you find a word that has a short U sound? Which one has a short U sound? Ella? Europe. Very good. Can you go and spell it for me? E-R-U-P-T. Thank you. All right, now I'm looking for a word that has an R-controlled vowel. Which one up there has an R-controlled vowel? You want to try, Juliet? Dorm. You're right, it is dormant. Do you remember what dormant means? Dormant means asleep or not active. Excellent. It means it's asleep and it's not active. D-O-R-D-O-R-N-A-N-T. Good job. I'm thinking of a word now that has a prefix. It has a prefix that means not. Which one up there has a prefix that means not? Ruby? Inactive. Very good. What does inactive mean? It means not active. Perfect. It means it's not active. Go ahead. You can spell one. Thank you. All right. The next word I'm looking for only has one syllable. It has one syllable. Bella? Very good. What's the digraph in that word? You got it. S-H. Very good. You can walk and spell. Thank you. Now I'm thinking of a word up here that has an inflected ending. Which word has an inflected ending? Natalie? Exploded. You got it. Exploded. What is the ending on that word? E. It is E-D. Thank you. You may walk and spell. E-X-P-L-O-D-E. Thank you. All right. Now I'm thinking of a word that has a long A sound. Don't be tricked. It has a long A sound. Ruby? Volcano. Very good. V-O-L-C-A-N-O. Very good. And now the last word, I want everyone to think of a word. It can be real or it can be nonsense. I want you to think of a word that you could rhyme with it. So first you have to figure out what the word is, and then any kind of rhyming word. Natalie. Ruby. Please. Be careful, there's an M on the end. Leans. Leans. It's a nonsense word. That's okay. Go ahead, Natalie. Think of one. Teams. Teams is one. Anybody else have one for me? Juliet? Streams. What is it? Streams. Streams. That's the word. Can you come up with a word that rhymes with it, though? Bella and Ella. Ella, you have one? Memes. Memes. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah. Go ahead, Juliet. Memes. Memes. And last one, Bella. Can you come Memes. up? What is it? Memes. Okay, it's, just, it's a nonsense word, but all right. Thank you. It just tells me what the book is. All right. I'm going to hand out your books, and I put your post-its on already for your sharing your notes. Who is going to offer for the black and white? Thank you. All right. We're going to do a real quick review of what we've read already. So let's open up to page one. Page two, I mean. Right now I want you to open page two. We're going to do a quick review and then we'll read. Page two, Ella. Okay, page two. Who can tell me, um, what's the heading on this page? What's the heading, Juliet? Maps. What's the heading? Thank you. It is Mount St. Helens. So, that, what does the heading tell us? Ruby? About the page. Very good. About, about the, the thing. Which we're, exactly. What we're going and to. There's a map. Yes, that's it. What is that? That's a. It's a um, map. It's a map. It's one of the other text features. Good. What did we learn? Who can raise your hand? I want to hear one person tell me. 
What did we learn on chapter one about Mount St. Helens? Anything that you can remember? You can peruse it with your eyes if you can't remember. Ella? It blasted. What's another bit, word besides blasted? <laughs> it, it erupted. Good. Did you have something else, Ruby? It is. Very good. It's in Washington State. Good. Let's turn the page. Page four and five. Who can raise their hand and tell me what's something we learned about on this page? What was something special about the blast? Do you remember, Juliet? It knocked down all the trees and stuff, and it made really thick mud. Very good. It knocked down all the trees and it made thick mud. How is that thick mud formed? Does anybody remember? How is the thick mud formed? Ella? With the snow, and it mixed together, and it made mud. What did the snow mix with? Do you remember? The ash. Mm -hmm. The ash? What were we going to say? And the volcano, it was different than others because it had ash instead of uh, lava. Very good. It was different than the others. Nice job, girls. All right, let's turn the page. Page six and seven. What's the heading on this page? Bella? Very good. How a volcano forms. What did we learn about that? Natalie? Um, that um, down here it like, shows you a map. Yeah, and what is that text feature on the bottom called? What is that text feature? And if you don't know, they're listed on the board. Ella? Diagram. Very good. It's a diagram, and that diagram tells us how the volcano is formed and how it explodes. What are they showing us on page 7? Why are they showing us a bottle of a soda? Really? Because it's kind of the same thing. If you shake a soda bottle up with a cat, then you open it, and it has so much energy. Yeah, what does it have inside it, just like a volcano? Gas, gas. There you go. It has the gas inside of it. Awesome job. All right, let's turn to page 8 and 9. A quick review. See any text features on these pages? Do you see any text features? <laughs> Natalie? Um, wait. You're right. That's one with these words right here. What do we call that? Caption. Yeah, Ruby's trying to help you. It's called a caption. All right. And in, the, in these two pages, it talked about how uh, there's dormant volcanoes and there's active volcanoes. Again, who can explain what is a dormant volcano? What is a dormant volcano? Ella? A volcano wouldn't be, a, it would be asleep or it wouldn't be active. Okay, do you remember how long Mount St. Helens was asleep? Yes. For all 100 years. Very good, over 100 years. All right. And now on the, on the right hand side on page 9, why is that volcano different? Why is that volcano different, Julia? It's an active volcano because it's exploding. And what's coming out of it? Lava. And what came out of Mount St. Helens? Ash. Very good. All right, let's turn the page. All right, this is a short chapter. Who can tell me the heading on this one? the heading on this page? Ella? Map. Nope, what's the heading on the page? On page 10. Oh. Um, heading. What is the heading on page 10? <laughs> Very good. So that's going to tell us what the page is about. There is a text feature on page 11. Who can tell me what that one is? What is the text feature on page 11? What do we call that? Yes, she did. Would you like to tell us again? Yeah, map. It is a map. And what does that map tell us, Ella? Where it is. Where what the is? The volcano and then the sea is. And where are they? In Hawaii. Very good, they're in Hawaii. All right, so our new chapter for today is chapter four. Who can tell me the title of chapter four? Uh, Juliet? We call, we call volcanoes and people. Volcanoes and people. Okay, so we're going to start on page 12. I'm going to use my little cards for our readers, and Natalie is up first. So when Natalie's reading, what are our friends doing? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're following along with our ears and eyes. Volcanoes are dangerous when they hot lava gas 
and as fucked most out of the earth. Yet many people choose to live near the land. The lava and the ash makes the soil rich and good for farming. Rich pineapples and other plants grow well in the volcanic. Volcanic. Volcanic soil. Very good. Can you just go back and look at this word for me? Rich. Rice. Rice. Good. So they, the soil is good for rice and pineapple. Pineapples. All right. My next friend up is Bella on page 13, please. People in isolation the heat from volcanoes to make electricity. Pipes on the wall for the hot grass on the ground near a volcano. As the water heats up, it turns to steam. The steam is All right, what we're going to do, I think, for chapter five is I'm going to have you partner read with your friend. And then when you're done partner reading, I want you to think about one thing that you learned from chapter four and one thing that you learned from chapter five. And on the front of your books, you have your little post-its. So talk with your partner when you're done and then just jot down a quick note, okay? Wait, should we bring up the pencil? It would be a good idea to bring a pencil. All right, ready? Here we go. I want my friend Ella and her friend Natalie to go right over here. And then I want my friend Ruby and Bella to go right over here. Remember, your partner reading, so it needs to be like a whisper, just you and your partner. And you, my dear, are stuck with me. I'm going to read chapter five and then jot down two notes.
Do they use the um, they can use a hot box for just very good. So you can write that. So you can just write notes. You don't have to write a sentence. Hot rocks. Hot just One more minute? Mm -hmm. All right, you writing notes, Bella? Yeah. Two minutes? Okay. Mm -hmm. Something that we learned on this page about scientists. They have very special suits. Very good. Why? Because if they get hurt, if they get hurt, they have to use it because because. They have to use special tools and stuff so they don't get burned or hurt. You're right. So, all right. So, you could just say a note or two. You could say wear special clothing, special suits. Mm -hmm. All right. Less than a minute. Mm -hmm. Back to the Where? table to share, please. crops that they mentioned in the book? Mm -hmm. Which one? Nice. And Very good. Miss Ella. Grow well in near volcanoes. I think that's what that says. Grow well near volcanoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not in volcanoes, right, Ella? Yeah. That what? Oh. <laughs> Many people choose to live near volcanoes. What do you have for us? Hot rocks. And what does that mean? They use hot rocks for electricity. Very good. They do. All right, let's go to chapter five real quick. Where? And we'll start with Juliet this time. Wear suits and have special tools. Very good. And you tell me why they have to wear special suits. Why? Because so they don't get burned. Thank you. Miss Bella, your turn. Right, same kind of thing. What do you have for us, Miss Bella? Scientists need to wear special clothes to keep safe. All right. I have the same thing. The same thing? You have anything different? A scientist wears a helmet and a special suit to to collect lava. He doesn't collect lava, what is he? Well, actually, he did, 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 did collect lava, didn't it? In samples, yes. What were you going to say, Ella? I said, mostly everyone did the same thing. Yeah, it was a short chapter, that's why. All right, what I'm going to do real quick is just show you this is the comprehension page. We have multiple choice, short written responses. We won't do all of that today. And then if we can get through maybe a few, we have a, um, a bingo game using our volcano words. Let's so stay focused on the lesson, Juliet. All right, so go ahead and show me. You can just write your first and last name. And I just want to see if you can do um, 
questions of number one and two. All right, let's just go over one and two and we'll finish it up. Um, question number one for me. Put your finger on it and read it to us. Uh, Ruby. In which chapter can you find information on why people What chapter did you find that? Where did you go to find that? I went, uh, But what did you just go to? That's one of the text features. What is this called in the front, Ruby? What is this called? The table of contents. What did you do? You went to here. Very good. She went right to the, the front table of contents to find out where volcanoes and people were. Nice job. All right, put your finger on number two. Read it to us. Let's see, Bella. finish it up. We will finish this comprehension page tomorrow. Last thing, I want you to tell me at least one text feature that the author used in this book to help us understand Mount St. Helens and volcanoes. One text text feature. Juliet. Maps. Yes, there's maps in the book. Anybody else? Ella? Heading for lots of headings. There was lots of headings. Table of contents. A table of contents. Glossary. There was a glossary. Oh, what does the glossary tell us? We didn't talk about that. Um, you know, well, you can look in the glossary to see, um, to, to see what the word means. Good. Belle, do you have any text features that you can remember in the story? No. Title. Title. Caption. There's captions. Diagrams. And there's diagrams, you're right. The easiest one of all, Bella. What's this here? It's a picture, yes. All right, towards our girls, you can um, put your stamp cards back in your binders, and you're all set. Thank you very much. I did.